But uh, now let's get on to the sad news here. Let's talk about the thing. So Sony came out today and delayed seven of their movies or changed the release dates of seven of their films. We're going to go into each film here, see whether it was a smart move, a dumb move. I'm kind of surprised by how much some of these movies changed. Craven in particular, I was not expecting the big delay that Craven got here. But uh, starting off with this article here, thanks to Screen Rant, they have it all neatly placed for us here. So a couple of ones that we didn't know were happening that were um, coming up that didn't have exact release dates is for one, Bad Boys 4, that's uh, 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 the movie here with uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. That was one we just didn't know at the time that that was uh, that had a release date. Let me see if I can pull up a discussing film photo here so make it easier so you guys know what we're talking about. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to the fourth movie. I don't know how people feel about Will Smith nowadays. Made, made a mistake. I'm looking past it here. I'm still going to be looking forward to his movies here, but... Uh, Bad Boys 3 ended up being a pretty decent movie. I actually ended up liking it. I thought that thing was going to be horrible, but this was fine. And so I'm kind of looking forward to Bad Boys 4. And now we know it'll be releasing Father's Day, June 14th, 2024. I think they already finished filming the movie as well. So that'll be easy to anticipate for us. So we had that one. And then from there, they also revealed the release date. For Venom 3. This was a movie we didn't know when was going to be coming out. We knew it was coming, though, because we had already started seeing behind-the-scenes set photos of Tom Hardy in Spain, filming scenes, making the streets of Spain look like Mexico. So we knew that was already happening. And we're just curious about what this plot is, because if they give us the whole Tom Hardy being a mentor to a 10-year-old Peter Parker, just give me Morbius 2. Just Because <laughs> no way that ends up being the right thing. So July 12th, 2024, I'm actually surprised they even gave us a release date with, like, they were in the middle of making this movie, strike happened, actors had to stop working, how could they tell us, we're still going to make that release date, even though we have no idea when this strike is ending, could be next week, could be three months from now, they still feel confident they'll be able to finish the movie in time and release it July 12th of next year, so that's kind of fun, right, all right, so now let's get into these crazy uh, release dates here, now this one isn't as wild, Gran Turismo okay I actually I'm gonna see that movie August 1st and I've actually been hearing okay things about Gran Turismo it's kind of an interesting route that Sony went with for this story not only is it based on the video game Gran Turismo or am I saying that wrong Turismo Turismo Tur Grand Grand okay whatever um it's also a true story about you know the game holding a tournament letting players come and race and someone was actually good I'm sure he's gonna be recruited for the next Fast and Furious movie and uh they decided to delay it two weeks, and their specific reason why they did it is so odd. Is that is kind of odd? So they said here the stars can't promote the movie, uh, but the audience can, which is like a good and bad thing. Bad because they can't have you know people like David Ho um, uh, Hopper here from Stranger Things promoting the movie and telling us how fun it was being part of it and whatnot. Uh, instead, they're going to rely on the audience and word of mouth. This is a movie that has like already sold tickets. So I wonder what happened to those people who bought tickets to see the movie opening day. And now the movie's delayed. Like you get a refund. They change that date on you. Like what happens there? But the fact that they're so confident in this movie, they're like, look, our stars can't promote the movie. But you guys can because it's actually a good movie. At least that's actually what I've been hearing. And the trailers looked all right to me. So. That's one. Just a two-week delay. Nothing too wild. Then we move on to Madam Web that got delayed two days. That That is so odd. The, the, they thought two days. That, that'll that make the difference here for you. Let me see if you have a freaking Madam Web photo. They do not have a Madam Web photo. So let's just look at Venom here. But Madam Web delayed two days to um, February 14th, Valentine's Day fine i'm I'm gonna see it because there's some great star power in there sydney sweeney i'm definitely gonna be wanting that isabella merced our hot girl now in the dcu yeah, we'll see how it goes i'm more intrigued with the plot remember this is basically spider-man's terminator madam webb it's gonna be somebody sent back in time to kill peter parker's mom because she's about to give birth to peter parker it's terminator in the spider-man world i like terminator i like spider-man that might end up actually being a fun movie but they delayed that two days. Okay. Now we get into something I expected. Ghostbusters Afterlife. So you guys know uh, they've been filming the Ghostbusters sequel. I believe they actually finished uh, filming it. They were in New York. Tons of set photos were out. 
I like Ghostbusters Afterlife. I love the Ghostbusters franchise. I'm actually curious to see what they do now with this sequel because it's going to feel more like a traditional Ghostbusters movie, not in the outskirts, you know, connecting it to the legacy of the past two. It's going to just be New York. Ghosts are out there. People in jumpsuits fighting them up. Could be cool. Um, but we knew they started filming this thing at the beginning of the year and they wanted to release the movie in December. I always said, they're not going to make that release date, guys. I, as much as I have hope, they're not going to do that. So this was a movie that was going to get delayed either way with or without the strike. Okay, so now it'll be coming out March 29th, 2024. I'm going to be watching this movie when it comes out. And now it just means we have to wait a little bit longer for um, trailers and whatnot. I'm not sure how like working on VFX or post-production works. Maybe there's some ADR or reshoots they want to do. Now that they finish filming it, they could see a couple of scenes are off and they're like, okay, when the strike's over, we need Paul Rudd in that suit again to have that, you know spanky panky scene with slimer or something i don't know what they do with those reshoots now this one another movie we should have expected was going to get delayed and should not be that big a surprise spider-man beyond the spider-verse the only sad part is there is no new date given it has just disappeared off the calendar here so we knew spider-man beyond the spider-verse was no way going to make its march 2024 release date because once this movie finished all the cast members and, and people involved kept saying, hey, you know, I haven't recorded any dialogue for this movie. I haven't even done this. Even animators came out and said, uh, we spent all our time on Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, not a lot of Beyond the Spider-Verse is done. So it seemed pretty obvious we were not going to get Beyond the Spider-Verse um, in March of next year. So with or without the strike, this movie was for sure getting delayed. But it's how much is it being delayed, okay? They said... Across the Spider-Verse took five years. I don't know if Beyond is going to take that long because while some people are saying, oh, they were working on the movie at the same time, the animators themselves said in interviews, yeah, we worked on some stuff at the same time, but like 90% of our efforts went into Across the Spider-Verse. So it's not like Beyond the Spider-Verse is 20, 30% done. It might only be like 10, 5%, guys. And I'm sure they're also going to take, you know, some fan... Um, I wouldn't say criticisms, but, you know, what fans have said across the Spider-Verse and implement that into Beyond to make it better or update it and whatnot. So this was expected. I've already seen some scoopers say that it won't come out till 2028. And I'm like, don't even play with me. I, You're right. I was seeing some people already mention here 2025, 2006. I think that is probably the best the best uh, time frame for that movie to come out. And, you know. These animators are working hard. These movies are really difficult to make. Uh, I love them. I think they're great. So you know what? Take your time. Hopefully, I'll still be alive. I'll still have a channel. We could talk about all this Spider-Man goodness when it happens. So I don't mind. But yeah, June 2028, I will be pissed. If I have to wait that... You know what? By that time, I might be bringing my own child to freaking Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. You don't know, right? But yeah, so... Oh, sorry. I clicked on the wrong one. Um... Yeah, 2425, I think, is the most realistic option here. Now, you better be talking about Spider-Man 2099 here, because what do you mean? No. So that made us sad, but honestly, that was expected. We knew this announcement of it being delayed was going to happen either way. It's been announced now. We got to move forward from that. So then I couldn't help but to just laugh when I saw this headline. Craven the Hunter delayed. Was going to come out October of this year. And they moved it an entire year to August 30th, 2024. Sony, <laughs> what, is, what are you doing? I cannot believe they moved Craven the Hunter an entire year. This movie finished filming a while back. They're done with it. They were ready to go, about to release it to us. And now we're going to see Venom 3 before Craven the Hunter. Think about that. Venom 3 isn't even finished filming. They got like maybe three weeks worth finished, and we're going to see Venom 3 first. This definitely is giving me flashbacks to Morbius, okay? I don't know how many of you were around during during the Morbius days. The common Sony L. It happens. It's not in their animated department, but like, yeah, it's, it's literally Morbius all over again. You're right there, my friend, because this is what happened. Now, Morbius was because we that was during the pandemic, and so things were getting shuffled around. The theaters were closed and whatnot. But an entire year, my boy, I, I must imagine they're taking advantage of this strike and and 
and they're going, maybe we can actually fix some things that fans complain about in the trailers. Because don't forget, Morbius in those first trailers that released before the movie came out, there was hints of Tyrese Gibson getting superpowers. He had this like robotic arm that he was going to have. There was a whole subplot involved with that. Got deleted. Then we have all the Spider-Man Easter eggs, you know, like the Spider-Man mural. There was going to be a bus with a newspaper from the Daily Bugle that said, where is Spider-Man? All the Spider-Man Easter eggs basically gone from the movie. And all they changed in the time from delaying and delaying and delaying Morbius was adding that horrible post credit scene or two horrible post credit scenes that had the vulture being farted from one universe into the next. And instead of going crazy that he was just teleported to a new universe, he thought, hope the food's better in this joint. Oh my God, I can't. Flashbacks. And then that scene of him meeting up with him in the desert going, not sure what's going on. I think it has something to do with Spider-Man. When has Spider-Man ever teleported people to another universe? I'm getting mad here. But either way, I can't imagine what they're changing here. I know people are looking forward to Craven the Hunter. I don't blame them. That first trailer that came out or, or the bloody trailer that came out, that was pretty epic. You know, he's biting people's noses. First rated R Sony movie could be very entertaining. But it's like, what are they planning here, man? Because this just... A whole year delay? No way you need that much. Like, I understand you want to delay it because by October, there's a good chance this strike could still be happening. And that means Aaron Taylor Johnson won't be doing interviews and, you know, doing the thing where he's like, oh, I'm coming for you, Tom Holland. Oh, I want to fight Spider-Man. Thing that Tom Hardy and Morbius, Jared Leto, all of them have done. But it's like, I don't know if you needed a whole year. You could have dropped it January 2024. I'm pretty sure we would have been fine around then. This feels like a January movie, too. No offense. But uh, I guess maybe they have faith in it. Maybe it's good. But I could not believe that was something else. And then we got other two release dates. We got a new release date for the upcoming Karate Kid movie. Don't forget, they're they're having a rebooted movie. Has nothing to do with Cobra Kai. Uh, there's rumors Jackie Chan is going to be slightly involved in the movie. That moved from June 7th to December 13th. I like me a Karate Kid movie. I want to see that. And I have not heard of this movie. They listen. It's a Blumhouse movie. Is that the one with John Cho? I think I might have actually heard about that. Is that? Yeah, John Cho. He's in it. Okay, I did hear about this movie. I remember. So, uh, yeah, those are the changes. Now, they're accrediting a lot of these changes due to the writer's strike and actors not being able to promote their movies. Um but man, I, I just that more that Craven one, man, that had me dying of laughter. I was like an entire year. You were literally like right almost at the finish line. And you said, let's wait a whole year. Like, that's wild. I mean, I can't, I can't believe that happened there. So.